I've always been a little frustrated making oceans and other water bodies in Blender. There is the ocean modifier which looks good until you increase its size which for some reason changes its look completely or until you tile it which introduces a lot of repetition. I've also tried the physical open waters add-on but I find that close to the camera I kind of dislike how it looks and um, I find myself always fiddling around with the shader as well. So I've decided enough is enough and I'm just gonna make my own ocean. So to do that, I first have to figure out how to. So after doing a bunch of research, I landed on the Gerstner wave. Um, and um, you know, the Gerstner wave, it seems easy enough to implement. I mean, this is the formula and with the handy explanations that the YouTuber Zycor here gave, um, I was able to understand um, how to implement this. I also got a bunch of useful stuff like how to get the foam from Ace Roller's video here. But yeah, with that in hand, I could uh, jump into Blender and just remake the math. But uh, yeah, after I did, um, this is what I saw. So just a weird sine wave. And initially I had a mistake in there with which meant that it wasn't really pulling the water in like it should. And I also couldn't change the wave direction. Uh, but once I fixed that, uh, it worked. And it still is just a sine wave. So what we have to do, the actual magic of this uh, wave setup is that we have to combine a lot of layers of waves. Initially, I thought I should manually tweak each layer and then combine them together so that we can have more control over the look of the ocean. However, I feel that is very impractical. So what I'm doing now is, and I got this from Ace Roller's video as well, is to to just make a loop and with each iteration decrease the amplitude and increase the frequency of the waves. But doing so already gave a nice looking ocean. Now I will say you also have to decrease the speed with each iteration because if you don't and the water just looks like it's scrolling along and not really moving like water should. I looked into using Fourier transforms to more accurately model the ocean and have no repetition basically. Um, after looking at the math required I, uh, I didn't want that anymore. So instead, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna make three different ocean spectra and then individually tweak those to have small, medium, large waves or whatever combination you want. Uh, also adjusting the frequency and then mixing those together. But yeah, I feel like it kind of eliminates the repetition feeling. I mean, it probably isn't eliminated fully, but it's way better. Then uh, for the foam, what is kind of uh, stupid is that I have to duplicate the Gerstner wave setup two times, once for the x-axis and one for the y-axis and then offset it for the x and y-axis. Then I can uh, calculate the difference. Um, so this is I think the x-axis and now I'm making the y-axis and then I just have to combine them I think using cross product. But yeah, now we have the foam where the foam should be. I'm using a simulation zone here to have the foam sort of have some streaks, you know, sort of build up and then dissipate. I don't want the effect to be too strong but it should uh, definitely uh, be there. Then I added some camera dependent subdivision and cooling. And by the way, if you want to have this ocean set up yourself, then you can check it out with the link in the description. But anyways, now it's done. So here is the final result.